recently a good friend asked me, do you know how to create a group in Gmail? And I thought about it, and I thought I did, but I found out that things have changed in Gmail, so I had to go do a little research. Lo and behold, it is relatively easy to set up a group in your Gmail on your laptop or computer. There are six steps. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, why bother with a group? You just type the names in, no big deal. Well, by using a group, you save time. You only have to type in the title of your group rather than each individual member of your group. So if you have a book club that has 15 people in it and your group title is book club and all that's all you have to do, that saves a lot of time rather than sending it, uh, typing in 15 individual names. Or perhaps you're in the historical society or a church group that has 25 or 50 people. Think about being able to type just the name of your group rather than the names of all those individuals. The other thing is this way when you use a group email, uh, you make sure that you never leave anyone off the email unintentionally. So let's look at these six steps. Number one, well first of all you have to open your Gmail and you see that mine is open there. Now. Here's the tricky part. You have to get to your Google contacts. So if you look over towards the right, you see there's a red arrow labeled one. It's pointing at that gray circle with nine little squares in it. That's where you need to tap or click because you're on your computer. So when you click on there, the white dialog box below will drop down. It will it's where it says number two, and it's but you see it says Maps and Gmail and Drive. But over in the right-hand corner, it says Contacts. So that's where you're going to click. Once you do that, this screen will appear, and it says Create a Contact. Well, lo and behold, of course, you click on Create Contact. Once you do that, you're up to step three already, halfway there gives you a choice, create a contact, create multiple contacts. Well, a group is multiple contacts, so that's where you're going to click. You're going to click on multiple contacts. When you do, you will see this box. It says create multiple contacts. Now I have two arrows there, one's one and the other's two. It doesn't matter which order you do them in, but we'll go in the order I have it. So. I'm going to add, first of all, the names in my group. Uh, their emails. And if you see the example there, you can put the name and then their email, or you could just put their email. It's up to you. Now, what I found when I started typing in the emails, I had to type in the entire email. It did not pop up like it often does when I'm doing a mail message. Once I figured uh, that out and put in the names, I then went up to where the red arrow number two is pointing that says no lab. Well, actually it says no label. You click on there and that's where you will put the name of your group. And I'll show you that in just a second. Once you have all the emails in and you have named your group, and it's important that you name your group, then you're going to click on create. Once you start to type names in that create, will change color and become a live link. Now this is what it looks like when you are adding that label. So when you click on that add label, a little another little box will pop up and it says new label. So I typed in Boomer Tech Adventures. And once I have that label in and I've hit that create button, remember on the last screen I said don't forget to hit create. Then when I want to send my colleagues at Boomer Tech Adventure an email, I will only have to type in Boomer Tech Adventures. Let me show you. So here we go. It's the next day. I want to send uh, an email to both Chris and Ed, my colleagues at Boomer Tech Adventures. And you can see it says from Jill Spencer to, and I only got as far as boom, 
when Boomer Tech Adventures popped up with their emails, and I have their emails blocked off for privacy matters. Uh, but that's all there is to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. It takes some initial time to put in the emails, but once you have that done, then all you have to do when you're sending a message out to that book club or that hiking club or biking club or church group, you just need to start to type in the name of your group. Up will pop all the emails. You've saved yourself some time and you can begin your message. This has been Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures uh, for my colleagues, Ed and Chris. If you don't know anything about us or never have visited our webpage, boomertechadventures.com, we invite you to do that. Uh, we have a lot of good information there, all about Apple products, and we also have some free giveaways. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.